Building a core station is easy and fun. Check the box for any shipping damage and notify your dealer or the shipping company before opening the box. If possible, do not accept damaged shipments. Locate the box in an open area free from clutter and errant objects. You'll want at least a 6x6 six six area of open space to build your console in. Make sure you've considered any doors or hallways between the build area and the console's intended location. You will need the following tools. The number two Phillips screwdriver. That's it, that's great. Open the box carefully. The staples are best pulled out with pliers or a flat blade screwdriver. They are sharp, so please be careful. Note the contents inside, they are instructions, QC card, bag of hardware. View the instructions for a reference outline of each one. They are left panel number one, right panel number two, cable channel left number three, cable channel right number four, bottom brace number five, tray number six, back brace number seven, desk surface number eight, slate control slot blank cover number nine, interior brace right number 10, interior brace left number 11, top panel number 12, desk face panel number 13, two identical, Raven MTI two support number 14, two identical. Tray brace number 15. If any components are missing, please notify your dealer or slate support immediately. Refer to the general guide on page two of the visual assembly for info about how system bolts, X centers, and locking screws go together. Let's build the console. Follow the visual guide as you go. Unwrap the right side panel number two and lay it on its face. Be sure it is on something soft, like a packing blanket, so the face will not get scratched. Install the right side cable channel number four. Two system bolts, two screws. Unwrap the left side panel number one and lay it on its face. Be sure it is on something soft, a packing blanket, etc., so the face will not get scratched. Install the left side cable channel number three. Two system bolts, two locking screws. Unwrap and install the bottom brace number five onto the right side panel number two. Two system bolts, two locking screws. Unwrap and install the back brace number seven onto the right side panel number two. Two system bolts, two locking screws. Unwrap the desk surface number eight and lay it on its face. Be sure it is on something soft so the face will not get scratched. Unwrap the tray brace number 15 and install it on the desk surface number eight underside. The cutouts face up. The X centers face the bolster. Six system bolts, six screws. Unwrap the tray number six. Six system bolts, six screws. Be careful, the tray will be fragile until fully installed. Carefully install it onto the desk brace. This is the desk assembly. Install the desk assembly onto the right side panel number two. Six system bolts, six locking screws. Install the 10 corresponding system bolts onto the left side panel number one. 10 system bolts, 10 screws. Seat the left side panel number one on the desk main assembly. It may be helpful to have a friend assist you in this step.
Tilt the desk main assembly so it is standing up right on its legs. Take this time to clean the desk surface if need be. Now, we must decide what configuration we are using. Single display in the center, dual displays on either side. Fit system bolts to the two outer locations, four bolts total. Unwrap and install both interior braces number 10 and number 11. Make sure to seat the braces so that the plastic display mounting tabs face in. Four locking screws. You must remove the captive stand of the MTI too. Mount your Raven MTI-2 on the Raven MTI-2 support number 14. Requires four included M4 by 25 millimeter screws. Install eight system bolts in the top panel number 12. Excludes the center row. Fit the top panel number 12 onto the main desk assembly. Secure with eight locking screws. Seat the blank panel in the slate control slot or install your slate control. Fit system bolts to the inner location only, two bolts total. Remove the plastic tab from number 10 and install it on number 11. Now you have one inner brace, number 11, with two tabs. Install this one, number 11, in the center of the desk main assembly. You must remove the captive stand of the MTI too. Mount your Raven MTI-2 on the Raven MTI-2 support number 14. Requires four included M4 by 25 millimeter screws. Mount your Raven MTI-2s on the Raven MTI-2 supports number 14. Both are the same. Install six system bolts on the top panel number 12. Excludes the second and fourth row. Use the two outermost and single innermost rows only. Fit the top panel number 12 onto the desk main assembly, secure with eight locking screws. Seat the blank panel in the slate control slot or install your slate control. You've completed the assembly of the console. Here are some wiring tips. The displays can pivot up a certain amount so you can easily route your cabling. Use the pass-throughs and cable management channels for very neat and tidy wiring. Remove the blank panel. Install the flush mount cable adapter on the rear of your control head. Seat the control head in the slot.